In 1844, President James K. Polk had set up a plan to create a country with more land, based on the idea of manifest destiny. He wanted to expand the country so it would reach from coast to coast. First, in 1845, Polk sentenced John Slidell to attempt to buy California for $25 million. However, Mexico was still angered about Texas and refused the offer. Mexico and the U.S. had conflicting beliefs over where the border of Texas was. So, Polk sent 4,000 troops led by Zachary Taylor to what he believed was the Rio Grande border, and Mexico responded by sending troops back. Nothing happened for the moment. Then, Polk asked Congress to declare war on Mexico for unpaid, unpaid claims in Tex Texas and for rejecting to sell California. Congress wanted the Mexicans to fire first. In April 1846, they did. Now that Mexicans had shed blood on American soil, Congress agreed to declare war. The Mexican dictator Santa Ana was banished to Cuba. He tricked Americans into getting him back to Mexico, and once there, he helped Mexico against the U.S. General Stephen Kearney, with the help of John Fremont, overthrew Mexico. General Zachary Taylor's victory at Buena Vista made him a military hero and future president. Additionally, General Winfield Scott battle, battled at Mexico City in 1847 and accomplished an incredible victory. The Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848, signed by Nicholas Trist, ended the war. It stated that the U.S. held the title to the entire Texas area from modern-day Texas all the way to California. Mexico was also paid $15 million and had all their debts to the U.S. cancelled. So what were the effects of the war? Well, the U.S. had worsened relationships with Mexico and Latin America. More importantly though, America increased in size by 30%. And with all this new land, debates about whether slavery should be allowed or abolished in the new territories rose up. The South wanted the territories to be either slave states or popular sovereignty, while the North pushed for non-extension of slavery or abolishment. Ultimately, the Mexican-American War and the land gained by it helped lead to the American Civil War.